Hello everyone, I'm Ellie's, and this is my bunny friend, Leafy. Today, we're talking about something super important. Water. Water is important for people, animals, and the whole planet. Oh, I drink water all the time. But where does it come from? Good question, Leafy. Water comes from lakes, rivers, and even the sky. But it's not just sitting there. It goes on a big adventure called the water cycle. Let me show you how it works. First, the sun heats up water in lakes, rivers, and oceans. This makes the water turn into tiny droplets, like steam, and float up into the sky. That's called evaporation. These droplets come together to make clouds. When the clouds get too full, the water falls back to the ground as rain. the water disappear in the sun it's crystal clear e v a p o r a t i o n that's how we spell it ain't it fun water turns to vapor see evaporation sets it free clouds up high in the sky from the comes down to the earth as the rain and fills up rivers and lakes and even the ground where plants drink it that's right and the cycle starts all over again water is always moving and helping the planet thank you for sharing Ellis. you're welcome leafy look leafy the tap is dripping that's wasting water even little drips can waste so much over time. What can little humans do to save water, Ellis? Well, here are a few simple things we can do. Turn off the tap when brushing our teeth instead of letting it run. We can also take shorter showers to use less water. Tell your parents or any grown-up in the house if a tap is leaking so it can be fixed. That sounds easy. I am sure our friends watching will remember to turn off the tap when brushing their teeth. Oh, that's Gigi. Hello, Gigi. What are you doing? Hello, Ellie's. Hello, Leafy. I'm getting ready to water my flowers when the sun sets. Did you know plants need water too? Sure. Water is important for all living things. That's right. But we should not waste water by using too much to for our plants. That's why we should water the plants early in the morning or late in the evening when it's cooler. This way, the water doesn't dry up too quickly. Wow. Thank you for telling me that, Gigi. I didn't know that. We can use rainwater too. We can collect rainwater in a bucket or a barrel and use it for watering the plants. That's such a good idea. Collecting rainwater is like recycling water for plants. Today, I learned that water goes on a big journey called the water cycle. It moves from the earth to the sky and back again. Yes, Leafy. And also that it's really important to save water. We can save water by turning off taps, taking shorter showers, and using rainwater for our plants. Don't forget we can also collect rainwater and water plants at the right time of the day. Saving water is easy, 
Every little thing we do can help keep water safe and clean for everyone and everything. Thank you for being with us today friends. Check out our other videos about little ways to care for the planet. See you next time. Subscribe today to Kits for the Planet and learn more about caring for our world. Always remember, every little helps.